Ladies and gentlemen, and audiophiles of all ages, welcome to all you need to know about audiophiles. There are a very large number of audio formats. How do you decide which will best fit your needs? I was fully convinced that when Monkey's Audio joined the competition with extension .ape, that there was an absolute plethora of audio file formats and codecs. Epe, what is a plethora? Why, Wapo? And you told me I have a plethora. And I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is. I would not like to think that a person would tell someone he has a plethora and find out that that person has no idea what it means to have a plethora. For the sake of simplicity and brevity, let's just cover the three most popular and widely used audio formats. First, we have a collaboration between Microsoft and IBM from the early 90s, WAVE. Second, we have a WMA. And third, one you've all heard of, MP3. WAVE is an uncompressed format and takes up a lot of data space. WMA is compressed with no loss of data. MP3 is also compressed and has some of the data deleted. First, let's start with a reference point. CDs and CD quality, which we're all familiar with. CDs use uncompressed postcode modulation with a 44.1 kHz sample rate and 16-bit resolution. CDs can sound great, and this format has been around since the 1980s. The data size of a CD is about 30 meg. If we were to take the raw analog signal that went into that CD and converted it into a .wav file instead, the file size would be about 500 megabyte. It would take about 17 CDs to hold that much data. I'm a huge fan of the Rolling Stones, which have just announced a tour for 2019 here in the United States. The Rolling Stones have been around since 1962. You may not know that the Rolling Stones get their name from a Muddy Waters song back from the 1950s. That song was based on the old Delta Blues that go back to the 1920s in Mississippi. Rolling Stone magazine and the Rolling Stones rock band get their name from that Muddy Waters song. Here we see what the Rolling Stones might look like for this tour. We have Mick Jagger on crutches holding his oxygen hose. We've got Keith Richards in a wheelchair with a full-time nurse accompanying him. And drummer Charlie Watts with some intravenous pep juice. Now, please allow me to tie this in before I digress any further. Let's say we wanted to make the best possible, within reason, audio recording of the Rolling Stones alive. After placing our Newman U87 microphone somewhere near the stage, an excellent choice would be a WAV format with 24-bit resolution at 44.1 kilohertz. Today's newest standard for high resolution is considered 24-bit at 96 kilohertz. This is about three times the resolution of a CD. Now, bit depth in audio is very interesting. With 16-bit audio, you have 65,500 possible levels. With 24-bit audio, you have 16,700,000 possible levels. 
Now, although this is much more than the human ear can decipher, it is very useful for post-mixing and post-editing. Here is an easy-to-understand analogy which best summarizes the audio formats that we have covered. Low-resolution MP3 is like a tricycle or roller skates and is about a soda can of data. MP3-128 is about the minimum you would use for music. It is like a Chevrolet and is about a barrel full of data. MP3-320 is much better, can be used for quality music, and is likened to a Buick, almost a Mercedes-Benz and is about a tanker truck of data. Now, wave at 44.1 kilohertz, 24-bit, is like a Mercedes or Lexus, and is about a tanker ship of data. The ultimate, although some audiophiles would want to beg to differ, is wave 96 kilohertz, 24-bit, and is like a Lamborghini or Ferrari, and is a tanker ship of data. I use and am very pleased with the Denon DN300R. It has a high setting for wave format at 48 kilohertz and 24-bit. I have been in professional audio entertainment for a very long time, many years, and I can tell you this has exceeded my expectations in every way, and storage is no longer a problem. Between inexpensive SDHC cards, thumb drives, USB thumb drives that can utilize mini SD cards and the latest SDXC cards, you have many options and file sizes are not an issue. In final summary, what is the takeaway? The baseline standard CD quality is 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz. If you have the option, always use WAVE, as a WAVE file is non-compressed and does not have any loss of data, so it is a reproduction. If you can only use MP3, try to get a setting of 320 or better. We need some help pleasing the insatiable YouTube algorithm, so please give us a comment and be sure you're subscribed. Take a moment to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and have learned something. If you love karaoke as much as my friends and I do, you should give Mark the Mixer a try. Along with M2 Technology and Karaoke King, you will have the singing sensational time of your life. Music entertainment way better than you can possibly imagine.